I have the pleasure of giving an invited lecture at IOEA 2022, in which I spoke about uh, the history of family economics since its birth in the 1960s, more recent developments than the frontier research topics. The objective was to introduce, especially the younger members of the audience, to interesting topics that they might want to take up for themselves, that I hope they will. So I started with um, Gary Becker's pioneering contribution in the 1960s and early 1970s. Then I spoke about the new ways of modeling choice within a household in which we do take into account the existence of different members with different preferences within the household. And these are contributions done especially by my colleague Pierre-André Capori at the end of the 1980s. And then I showed how um, the way the surplus is distributed within the household and how the household gets to spend its income on various goods, including public goods like children, depends in particular on the equilibrium on the marriage market. The very idea that there is something that we can call the marriage market is a bit alien to non-economies, but it makes plenty of sense. We all know that there are some partners that are in high demand on the labor market and on the marriage market. And it seems uh, quite reasonable to think that they will be able to uh, appropriate a larger part of the surplus that is created by a marriage. As it was Gary Becker's brilliant contribution at the beginning of the 1970s to model equilibrium in the marriage market as a matching process. And I explained how by bringing these two uh, strands of the literature together, we hope to be able to explain much more about intra-household inequality and the dynamics of unions in general, marriages, divorces, remarriages, and the like. So I had a great experience being at uh, IOEA this year. As you can see, it has a very warm and relaxed atmosphere. And it's been a very enjoyable experience throughout. I highly recommend it.